In today's session, we are going to talk about a painful topic, and this is email parsers. There will be some cases that you will receive emails from a third party. Those emails will contain information that's supposed to be entered automatically into your CRM. As an example, whenever you are going to receive a lead that is coming from a third party, the email will contain the first name, last name, product, any type of information that you like to receive in the CRM. In order to process this email, you will need to have some kind of an email parser. In the past few years, Zapier was the only solution out there that was able to do a, a relatively okay job with those emails. The problem is that lately, in the last year and a half or so, the different parsers are just not doing a good job as out of the box. As an example, whenever you will have an email parser from Zapier, it will basically have some information that is being received, and then you will need to select with your mouse you will need to select the information that you like to push into the CRM, such as, let's say here, the count of wizards, and here it's the cost and the total cost. And eventually all those will be pushed into Zapier and Zapier will push it to the CRM. And that's something that was okay, but not perfect. Because it's not perfect and some clients complaining a lot about Zapier parser and also other parsers, I don't want to, to uh, sound like Zapier is the problem. Uh, I think the problem is about to create one tool that can serve all the templates and that's really the problem. In Zoos CRM, there is a way to create email parsers. And if we will go here to the CRM, you can go to the email and then you can create yourself parsers. So that's something that is already existing. The problem is that this email parser is doing exactly what Zapier is doing. It's basically taking the information you're going to mark in the template. You are going to mark the different areas that you like to be pushed as a template and then those supposed to be inserted into the lead system or something else. And that's also not working well. Because this problem is, is such a big problem and some companies cannot just let go of 20%, 30% of their leads, we spent lots of time trying to figure out how can we solve this problem. And we got a solution that works 100% of the time. The way that we are approaching it is that when emails coming in, we are using the Zoho CRM parser. So basically it's saving you the subscription fee for Zapier. Those emails will come to the parser. We will save the parser information as a whole, like the full email HTML. And then we are going to use scripting language to parse the different sets of information from this email template and then we are able to make it work perfectly. As long as the email template will not change, and obviously it makes sense, then this template will always work. And usually those email templates are not tending to change all the time. So that's the solution that we found. If you have the same problem, obviously we are happy to help you. And if not, at least explain to the developer that you are going to work with how you want them to proceed. So you have here the steps, the email need to go to Zo CRM email parser. It will need to go to a secondary module, a temporary module. It will parse the information based on the email data, and then it will create a new lead, append to an existing lead, creating an order, creating an invoice, whatever you want. But at least you know the right path to go with this specific problem.